एवरीवन वेलकम टू आस्क न्यूट्रिशन इज दीपर्स होल फूड प्लान बेस्ड नो ऑयल रेसिपीज एंड टुडे द टुडे द डिश दैट आई एम गोइंग टू मेक इज यूजिंग कॉर्न एंड इट्स कॉल कॉर्न चटपटा simple side dish you can say that you can make and it's called corn chatpata today's dish is called as corn chatpata because chatpat means quick chatpata means uh, something tasty and it is very tasty and my twist to this recipe is of course not to use oil but at the same time make it little bit high protein because in today's recipe i am going to use some moong dal now this moong dal was soaked for 2 to 3 hours and it's just plain moong dal decorticated which means the skin is removed you can use the one with skin on as well in case if you don't have the uh, the decorticated or uh, regular moong dal then feel free to use some chickpeas canned chickpeas This is a very forgiving recipe, a recipe as usual. The goal here is to create a dish which captures the whole grain, high fiber properties of corn, and and combine that with with protein to make it um, even more high in protein. So to start the recipe, I'm going to go through the ingredients first. Like I said, I have some soaked mung dal. If you don't have soaked mung dal, you can also use uh, chickpeas. then i'm going to use some organic super sweet corn and the spices are going to be very simple i'm going to use some cumin seed powder it's roasted so just roasted cumin seed powder i'm going to use some uh, tender powder and another interesting ingredient i'm going to use as a seasoning this time is black salt so as you can see black salt they are crystals of black salt easily available on amazon or any ethnic grocery store especially indian store and i have some ground up now this particular black salt has a very unique little bit of a pungent flavor which gives this particular dish a very traditional um, uh, feel and we are going to start by stir frying some purple onions i can talk all day long about onion and their health benefits but basically onions are also high in uh, in anti cancerous nutrients especially purple onion good for your heart, for your heart health just like garlic so once you start stir frying onion you're going to see they are going to start sweating again this is a no oil recipe why do i not use oil because of the inflammatory properties of oil which causes inflammation in your body uh, which leads to onset of each and every chronic condition heart disease cancer diabetes uh, any kind of pain so that's why we don't want to use any added oil talking about oils so as i was saying that most of the corn in united states especially sweet corn and all those different varieties that i just showed you are non gmo the rest of the corn the 92% of the corn that is grown in in us that is used in uh, making corn oil or uh, corn starch or uh, feed for the animals is all gmo so you want to be aware of this thing because the corn syrup corn starch and of course if you are eating animal product then the the animal is going to be is is prob not probably but is been eating the gmo food which is not going to be good for for the health of that animal as well as the meat that it produces this is another reason why we want to stay away from animal products um or animal sources of protein so basically i'm going to stir fry 
these onions for a few minutes. Now let's talk about some health properties of corn. So corn ha is a good source of fiber, protein, B vitamins, minerals like zinc, magnesium, manganese, selenium, and phosphorus. Now I'm just going to add that soaked mung dal. Now corn is unique when it comes to uh, its benefits for your eyes. Corn is high in lutein and uh, zeaxanthin. Okay. Now both of these antioxidants compounds have found to be beneficial for our eye health. So, something to think about. And again, I'm talking about corn in its natural form. If you end up frying this corn, like a lot of traditional dishes require you to, or if you are eating processed corn, if you are eating corn in terms of corn oil, it's not going to give you the health benefits that we are talking about. So it's important that we stick to the natural sources as much as we could. We heat just a little bit and add my frozen corn. So as you can see, this, this dish is chatpata because it's cooking in less than 10 minutes, especially if you have frozen corn, all set, all ready to go. Now for some reason, if you don't have frozen corn and you end up getting sweet corn, then you can, using the knife, you can remove the kernels and no need to grind them because sweet corn is extremely tender and it might turn into a, a mushy mess. So it's better that you use that uh, corn from the, corn kernels from the cob as is. And that's what I'm doing with here as well. So now this is a perfect combination of slow acting carbs because as you saw, I used whole corn and not any processed corn. So I got the whole fiber, whole grain benefit of eating corn, which is fiber. I'm going to add some turmeric, not too much because there's enough yellow color going on here. You want to make sure that all the water is, is evaporating. Okay. So going back to the health properties of the corn. Uh, most important, it has what is called as a resistant starch. Now, resistant starch has shown to play a role in weight loss, in keeping the blood glucose levels stable, as well as improving the gut microbiome. I have done enough videos on gut health and the role it plays in our uh, uh, in our uh, immune, uh, maintaining our immunity. I I'm just sprinkling some dhania powder, which is the coriander seed powder. And some roasted cumin powder. Okay, so going back to the gut microbiome and the immune system and the role of fiber. So it has resistant starch, it has prebiotic fiber, and both of those are going to play a very important role in keeping the gut microbiome active and healthy. We need fiber to feed the pro probiotic bacteria which exist in our system need prebiotic fiber. And I have done most of my recipes, uh, vegetable based recipes where I use all the vegetables with skin on is about gut health. Okay, moving on. I'm going to put some cayenne. Now 
Now you can adjust the cayenne. You can add jalapenos. In fact, you can turn this into a Mexican dish just by um, adding some vinegar and jalapenos and it will change the flavor but I think it will turn out just fine. Just a little tidbit on the side here. And now I'm going to add this black salt that I mentioned earlier. Now you can skip adding any salt. I'm adding this salt more for flavor. But if you are dealing with very high blood pressure or recovering from any kind of heart disease, then you want to make sure that your diet is free of any salt. But this particular salt, is a, it's a mineral-based salt and has a unique flavor. So I'm just going to allow it to cook for, for a couple minutes by putting a lid on. I'm going to lower the, uh, the, uh, the heat. Okay, so this is done. As you can see, it has steamed really well. It smells wonderful. It has a nice earthy smell of cumin and coriander powder. And I'm going to put my final touch on it by adding some lemon. So I peel my lemon and use those segments instead of juicing them because I want to make sure that we are getting all the fiber from, from the lemon wedges, okay? So you can do the same thing and then you can just press it down and, uh, and eventually it really, the juice comes off. So that's how it's going to be. Now I'm going to finish, finish up my dish by adding some pumpkin seeds. Okay, roasted pumpkin seeds. And the reason for me to add uh, some pumpkin seeds to this dish is to make sure that we got some healthy fats to, uh, to absorb the, uh, the lutein and zeaxanthin, the carotenoid compounds that I told you about earlier in the video, which are good for our eye, eye health. So by adding a little bit of pumpkin seeds, we are going to make sure that we have enough healthy fat to absorb those nutrients. So this is how the uh, chatpata corn is going to uh, look like in the end. This is and another example of recipe where you can use nature's bounty in its best form. Corn is in season, it's a whole grain. We added some mung dal, which is a protein. Uh, by the way, corn does have protein, so it's not completely void of protein that, that most people think it is. So by, uh, then we added some very nice flavorful spices, dash of black, black salt, and we are topping it off with some pumpkin seeds, which are going to enhance the absorption of other nutrients such as those lutein and zeaxanthin, which are good for our eyes. So enjoy corn, make sure you are buying organic and non-GMO, and uh, please have your comments, questions, uh, in, uh, in, uh, send it to me. I really enjoy when I get a comment or a question or a request to make a particular dish. My goal here is to make sure that you get the education to take care of or to reverse or prevent any chronic disease you may have or trying to avoid. Thank you again and I will see you next time.